What's going on, YouTube? It is Coach Millie. Let's talk about cravings. There are three top things that come up quite a bit in my strategy sessions. And if you are unaware, I am indeed a CPT and a nutritionist. And what I specialize in is essentially women who are just fed up of the yo-yo dieting, where you really just want to have a healthy relationship with food, I essentially help with that. So if that sounds like you, make sure you hit that subscribe button um, as I'll be giving uh, as much as I potentially can from my knowledge in regards to that transitioning from yo-yo dieting to just putting that aside. Let's have a healthy relationship with food, getting to our happy, healthy weight without the crash, dieting and the gimmicks and you know, stuff like that. So cravings. Cravings is something that comes up a whole lot. And there's a few things and, and key factors that attribute to where you fall on that craving spectrum. The first one is obviously going to be sleep. Many of us know how important sleep is to our health, right? So I'm not going to dial down too much on that. The second one is going to be stress. We all are are affected quite differently when it comes to our stressors. And for many of us that are deemed as emotional eaters or comfort eaters, this is definitely a big one. And then just dieting, like I really hate the D word, right? Like the connotation of what that actually means of restriction, right? That's what most people think about when they're on a diet that they have to be restricted with stuff. And the way how I coach and the things that I teach, the small group of women that I coach one-on-one, -on -one, let's throw away that D word and let's just have a healthy relationship with food. What are some things that you can actually do to reduce your cravings? I'm going to be giving you five, one, two, three, four, five, right? Five tips that you can actually implement immediately. And the first one is going to be, where's mine? Water, all right? We really want to have a whole lot of water. Far too often, we're thirsty. We're not even actually hungry. So if you want to have a frame of reference, and we all, you'll see different calculations. Generally speaking, I suggest that you look at your current body weight in pounds, you divide that number by two, and that's going to essentially equate to how much ounces of water you should be essentially striving through the course of your day. Make a habit into mind check first. Drink, even if it's just a quick little sip of water, before going for that craving and you'll notice if you give yourself a beat, right? Just like a few minutes, you will notice, hey, I was just like a little thirsty. Getting enough protein. Protein will keep you the most filled when it comes to your choices on your plate. So if you look at your three main macronutrients, I'm talking about your protein, your carbs, and your fats. If you go protein first, even when you have a distribution on your plate and you eat primarily what is in front of you from um, your protein options, you will notice you're fuller a whole lot longer, which will certainly help with your cravings coming down. This is a really big one and I had to really teach myself this long-term. Avoid shopping when you're hungry. Many of us, by the time we get to the point of hunger, it's like, it's like you're hangry, right? Try your best to not be in a grocery store or getting caught seeing a fast food sign when you're in the car. Just kind of like always having some sort of snack nearby. I even make it a habit before I actually go grocery shopping. I will literally have a bite of an apple or have something in my car so that I'm not walking into the grocery store actually being hungry. This tip, I've been using it for quite some time and might just depend on what flavor of uh, uh, toothpaste that you actually use, but brushing your teeth, literally. If before you go and you run to the candy bar or the chips or whatever it is, brush your teeth first, do some floss, and even if it's just rinsing out your mouth with some um, mouthwash, you will notice immediately you're not going to want to have the candy, you're not going to want to have the other bad stuff. Why? Because it's just not going to taste as good, right? And the very last one is going to be chewing gum, right? If you, Especially if you've been drinking water and you're just looking for something else, try a sugar free gum. Um, don't go crazy ham on it because then obviously you're just going to have some gas bubbles. But most times you're looking for something to do. Like literally your mouth is just kind of looking for something to do, which is a signal, right? That that food connection is tied typically to a stressor, typically to an emotion of some sort. So those are five things that you can implement immediately when it comes to your cravings. And I actually did a, a short uh, book 
on this. I offer this internally to my clients that I coach in a one-on-one. -on -one. We have tons of resources that I offer here, but what I am willing to do is offer this to you as a free download. Click down below this link. I'm not asking you for anything at all. I'm literally just giving you a free book that will also go on to give you some additional tips, seven tips to actually be specific on how to actually avoid your cravings, right? So I gave you five things that you can actually implement to help when they actually come. But then let's be even more prepared. What do we do so that we can actually avoid it at a whole? So again, click the link down below. Go ahead and download that book. Please let me know if it's helpful if you are a woman that you are just sick and tired of the yo-yo dieting you just really want to have a better relationship with food i'm really looking forward to um giving you some tips because i got a lot of stuff here in this brain from experience what almost over a decade of uh coaching that i am committing myself to unpacking that here essentially on this youtube channel if that's something that you think that would be helpful please subscribe and um let's comment what have you been craving and, and what are the things that you typically crave comment in the uh, video below and we'll go ahead and we'll chat about it peace see you in the next one